My grandfather says that in the old days, most everybody had to work at farming the land. But not anymore. We Sumerians got so good at growing food, some people could quit farming and let others grow enough for everybody. Of course, you had to be neighbors for that to work. So people settled down close to each other in villages. And the villages grew into city-states. Each city-state has its own king, and each one is sacred to one of the gods. My city-state is called Nippur. It's on the banks of the Euphrates River, and it's the most holy city in all of Sumer. Nippur is sacred to the god Enlil, our greatest god. His temple, the ziggurat, is right in the middle of the city. Our ziggurat is named Eduranki, which means the house binding heaven and earth. The ziggurat is a huge square building, sort of like a pyramid. It's made of several layers, or stories. As you go higher up, each story is smaller than the one below. The very top story is the temple, where the god lives. Around the ziggurat are houses where the wealthy people live, like priests and merchants, for instance. They live in two-story houses. Further away from the temple are one-story houses where shopkeepers and craftspeople live. And beyond them live the farmers and fishermen. All the land outside the city belongs to the city-state, too, but most people live inside the city walls. Here's my house. My family lives in one of the two-story houses close to the ziggurat. That's because my dad works for the king. My mom runs the house. Our slaves do the actual work, but my mom supervises them. They prepare meals, keep the house clean, and do other household chores. Mother also weaves beautiful cloth to make clothing. Her cloth is made of fine wool from our own sheep. She sells a lot of it to the traders' caravans. My younger sisters help my mom spin yarn and weave cloth. But I begged my dad to send me to tablet school. I'm learning to write so I can be a scribe. It's a really important job. There are a lot of other jobs in Sumer, like being a potter or a fisherman. Some people grind grain into flour and brew beer. Some are traders, and some just play music. Hey, that wouldn't be so bad. But it would be bad to be a slave. Some slaves were captured in war, and others became slaves because they owed money. They have to work for three years, often in the grain fields, and then they are set free. Besides the king and his family, the people with the highest positions are the priests. They care for the gods and make sure they're happy.